Meave shook her head in disbelief as she surveyed the landscape before her. The Nilfgaardians had destroyed everything in their path. Burned farms, trampled fields, leveled orchards. The bastards! She hissed. They mean to cause a famine. When the Lyrians reached Braithwaite, a small village near Aldersburg, they saw gaunt men and women, more bone than flesh, gnawing on acorns and boot leather. The invaders had requisitioned every scrap of the village's food stores and hauled it off to their nearby camp. In strained voices, the villagers begged the queen to help them retrieve their supplies. Milady, frost will come before we know it. Felt help us. Why not a soul will live to see the thaw? Meave looked around at the blackened, scorched village, at the walking skeletons who dwelled in it. The suffocating smoke bellowing up from the fields sent tears streaming down her face. I'll do what I can, was all she said. She knew this was not the time for a rousing speech. She needed to act. The Lyrians reached the outer defenses of the camp where the Nilfgaardians had taken Braithwaite's food stores. Rayla delivered her report. Three heavy infantry regiments, Nazari arbalists, the warrior said. And I heard neighing, so they've cavalry as well. Meave said nothing, working it over in her head. The fate of the starving villagers weighed on her heart. But was it worth risking heavy losses to aid them? After consulting with Reynard and Gascon, Meave concluded the risk was too high. Retrieving the plundered goods would have to be left for another time. Some Lyrians met this decision with understanding, others with disgust. Meave returned to the fort where the Nilfgaardians had stored the supplies stolen from Braithwaite. Her Lyrians prepared their equipment for battle. The Nilfgaardians keep food in storage and watch it rot while peasants perish from hunger. Will we allow this? The Queen said, addressing her soldiers. Cried the soldiers. I didn't think so. Meave said with a smile as she drew her weapon. Lyrians, attack! Today our swords shall taste imperial blood. Your Grace, the battle's won. We've secured the storehouses. Meave managed to rout the Nilfgaardian troops and regain the stolen supplies. However, the Queen's good humour faded soon after the battle. Her soldiers began loudly demanding she not return to the village, but keep the food for her troops. We've nigh empty bellies too, my lady. Or whatever we give them, the black-clad bastards will just steal right back. Better to strengthen our own army than the enemy's. The soldiers' words were cruel, but with much merit. Meave concluded they were in no position to save the inhabitants of Braithwaite from the ravages of war. Returning the food the Nilfgaardians had seized would serve only to soothe her conscience. The peasants of Braithwaite, Edurn and all the North will not know peace until we drive the Imperials back across the Yoruga, she said. And we shall not do that weak with hunger. Quartermaster, have this food loaded onto our wagons. The Lyrians went on their way, well fed but nagged by pangs of conscience. Easy it would have been to take offense at the soldier's words, to accuse him of greed, but his words held much merit. Meave's army had no less need for the food than the peasants, and in war-ravaged Edern there were few chances to replenish their supplies. After a moment's hesitation, the queen announced her decision. We shall divide the food. Half we return to the peasants, half we keep for ourselves. At first, the peasants were glad to see the soldiers. But their joy quickly turned to anger when they found Meave had decided to return only half the recovered supplies. And for a queen to stoop so low, so low, robbing good folk, starving good folk. Ugh. Meave refused to argue with the villagers. Yes, justice was on their side. But in times of war, justice counts for little. Meave heard the soldiers out. In her heart of hearts, she knew their arguments held much merit. 
but she only said, I'd rather fight with a clean conscience than a full stomach. The Queen's words ended all discussion. The soldiers loaded the food onto carts and made off towards Braithwaite. The villagers welcomed the soldiers with tears in their eyes. One fell to his knees before the Queen. Oh, milady, You saved us from starvation! From turning one against the other! From eating... horrid things! The gods bless ye seven times over! Meave smiled hearing these words, but sadness lingered in her eyes. If the gods truly did reward good deeds and punish crimes, there'd be lightning bolts pummeling the Nilfgaardians day and night. Our own king left us for dead. Yet you, milady, though from a foreign land, saved our village, saved our lives. A thief who takes half your coin is just as much a thief as one who takes it all. Remember these words well. Milady, have mercy. We'll waste away and starve. 